Hey, John Martinez with the Daily Sales Stoic. It's based on uh, the Daily Stoic Journal by Ryan Holiday. And basically what the journal does, it gives you a prompt every day to just think about and consider um, and to write about. And what I like to do is translate it into sales since what I do is train sales teams every day and help companies build sales teams across the country. Now, uh, today's reflection is how can I keep my mind clear from pollution? And this is absolutely critical when it comes to sales. You know, the mind is a powerful thing and you need to keep yourself away from really two types of toxins, sales toxins out there. The first one is toxic people, right? Uh, anyone who who just puts you in the wrong state of mind, you know, uh, anyone who bad mouths the company you work for, anyone that bad mouths the market, right? Like nobody's buying, we can't sell in this type of market. Anyone that bad mouths the competition, we can't sell because the competition is unethical or, or just too hard to beat or too big or too agile. So if there's anyone in your life or anyone on your sales team that is just toxic uh, and, and speaks badly of the sales force, the company, the market, really anything out there, you need to cut them out because whether you like it or not, hearing that over and over will impact sales results. Not only for that person, but everyone around them. Uh, the next thing you need to really keep out of your mind uh, is, is too much information. And here's what I mean by that. Sometimes salespeople have a tendency to overqualify. For example, I personally train a lot in the real estate investment space. And it's a different kind of sale, right? They're actually buying, they're cutting a check, but they need to buy houses for 50 to 60 cents on the dollar. So it's a, it's a pretty tough negotiation, but a fair one. Anyways, a lot of the sales reps, when I begin to work with them, they prejudge every lead, right? Uh, they might look at a house and say, you know, on, on Zillow or whatever it is, uh, the value is $700,000. I need to offer 400,000 in order for it to make sense for me to buy and rehab and flip and do everything that you need to when you flip houses. Um, I'm not even gonna go to it. Or if they do go to it, what happens is, is they go in and they've already killed the deal in their head before they've had a chance to actually go through the sales process. So what happens is, is they just rush through the sales call. You probably don't wanna buy, you probably don't wanna sell. Okay, that's what I thought, and they leave. So too much information, too much overqualifying as well is another toxin that salespeople and sales teams need to keep out of their heads. You know, I used to train uh, one sales team in particular, and whenever they would onboard a new salesperson, the way we increase sales results is we simply told them that everyone was doing 25% more than what they were doing. Just because that was a mental expe expectation, the new salesperson would hit it. So for example, uh, if you got a salesperson who's doing five deals a week, well, when we onboarded a new salesperson, we would say, you know what, the average salesperson here does six, sale, six deals a week and that's the expectation. And, and lo and behold, because there was no mental trash, they'd get six deals a week. And then the next one, hey, average salesperson here gets eight deals a week. And what do you think would happen? They would live up to that expectation. So when it comes to sales and toxins that we really need to keep out of our head, again, there's, there's, there's just two toxic people and, and just to reiterate what that means, if they have a bad view of the market, the company, the product, the service, uh, really anything, you need, to, you need to get rid of them or, or correct that immediately. And number two is really just the trash we put in our own heads, overqualifying. This person will never buy because. Um, so you need to stop overqualifying, get just enough information to make sure a prospect is qualified but don't try to cherry pick leads and overqualify each lead. So if you're having trouble with sales and you do those two things, cut out toxic people and toxic mindsets by overqualifying, you'll do a little bit better. Bye-bye.